When you imagine a large bird, you might think of an eagle or even an ostrich, or perhaps you think of ancient birds. Birds that flew alongside dinosaurs on the ground were not the largest birds in the history of the earth, as we might have thought. To find the largest bird in history, we need to go back 7 million years ago in today's Argentina, when the bird Argentavis lived in that area. Argentavis was a bird weighing about 100 kilograms, and when this bird sat on the ground, if a person of 1 meter and 80 centimeters height stood in front of it, their eyes would meet. That means when sitting, it is more than 1 meter and 80 centimeters tall. When its wings were fully spread apart, they were 6 meters wide, wings so large that it could lift a body weighing 100 kilograms in the air. Of course, there was also a bird named Pelagornis that had a wingspan greater than Argentavis, which was 7 meters wide, but it was much thinner and weaker than Argentavis. Therefore, the largest and most monstrous bird in the world is Argentavis. Argentavis was originally an ancient condor because the closest bird to it today is the condor that still lives on earth. Many aspects of this bird have been discovered but they don't exactly know what its facial features looked like. And because it's so similar to a condor, they always imagine it as a giant condor. Interestingly, you should know that the largest condor in the world today also lives in the Andes Mountains. Did you know that the Andean Mountains are the same mountain range that separates Argentina and Chile from each other? That's why Chile is so long, because a tall wall is behind it. The Andean Condor is a condor that currently lives in those mountains and as we said, it's the largest condor in the world. Take a look at this Andean condor, what a creature. But you should know that Argentavis was more than twice its size. Did you know that condors are the most beneficial birds in the world? That is, they can be called nature's travelers, and if they are absent, the ecosystem is incomplete. It's interesting that some condors both hunt and scavenge. The Andean condor is the same, it scavenges as well as hunts. The beak of the Andean condor is exactly like that of the Argentavis. Therefore, scientists speculate that Argentavis was both a scavenger and a hunter. The animals hunted by the Andean condor include rodents, rabbits, and similar creatures which are very beneficial for the ecosystem. That is, a bird that both hunts and scavenges is beneficial. Since rodents and rabbits, for example, are considered pests, hunting them can control their population. But the Argentavis was more than twice the size of the Andean condor. What did it hunt? It is estimated that Argentavis probably hunted animals such as wolves and foxes. Interestingly, today, the largest birds capable of flight are condors. This is because their flight is engineered to ascend to high altitudes and once there, they glide on air currents and do not need to focus on flying but rather scanning the ground. The reason their wings, both modern and ancient ones, were so large like those of Argentavis was to stay aloft on air currents for longer periods. It's worth mentioning that condors never look ahead during flight, they always look downwards. That's why they are killed by wind turbines. When you see condors in this manner, it means they are soaring in the air. It doesn't necessarily mean there is a carcass or corpse below them, rather it could be their way of resting. They are both scanning the ground and resting at the same time. That's why scientists say Argentavis grew so large to be able to stay afloat for longer periods. However, over millions of years, this bird grew to such a size that its size became somewhat problematic for sustained flight and feeding, contributing to its extinction. They became extinct about 5 million years ago. Some of them, the stronger ones, survived and essentially gradually became smaller and were able to survive like the Andean condor. You should know that bird fossils are very different from those of other animals. For example, dinosaur fossils have strong and sturdy bones They can easily be excavated and studied, but bird bones are thin and hollow and they don't preserve well over long periods. That's why we think the largest bird in the world is Argentavis, which dates back to only 5 million years ago. However, perhaps during the dinosaur era, around 65 million years ago, there were birds that were much larger, but we don't know because nothing has come to our hands. Maybe they will be discovered later, or maybe their fossils have been lost forever and will never be found. For now, we recognize Argentavis as the largest bird in the history of the earth. Research indicates that this bird, because of its heavy weight, didn't live on the ground, but rather in mountainous areas. There, it could perch and take off easily. Since it couldn't manage its heavy body on the ground, we can say it was a mountain bird in a way. When it came to flying, its task became much easier and it could descend close to the ground and then soar back up again. Andean condors belonging to the same era and much smaller than Argentavis also sit in the mountains and take flight from there. When scientists examined the fossils of Argentavis's feet, they saw how powerful they were. Therefore, they estimate that when on the ground it walked for long distances and hunted until it reached a high cliff from which it took flight. Condors living today all face food shortages because they cannot easily 
fine food, and humans have created even more obstacles for them, putting all condor species in danger. Nevertheless, modern condors with a daily requirement of 200 grams of meat manage to survive. But what about 10 Argentavides with such bodies? Each of them would have needed about 5 kilograms of meat per day. This is another reason for their extinction since they couldn't procure such a large amount of food. You might think that with such large wings, this bird could fly quickly, but that's not the case. These large wings were not for speed, as we mentioned, they were for staying aloft. Their speed didn't exceed 40 kilometers per hour, whereas a peregrine falcon could reach speeds of up to 160 kilometers per hour. When we study the natural history of Earth, we see that these animals became larger and stronger day by day for their survival. However, after millions of years, this size and strength led to their extinction. The larger ones perish and the smaller ones survive. Thank you for staying with us until the end of the video, subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications for more. Until the next video, goodbye.